unbelievable. I wasn't Brian May. Oh, it was oh. Captain Hook. Oh, of course. Celestine. <laughs> now, listen, one man that will be able to identify with my performance skills is Simon Devlin of Purple Jimmy, a Jimi Hendrix tribute act. But this isn't just any tribute act. They describe themselves as an entertainment machine. And Simon's here to the studio to tell us why. Welcome, Simon. Hey, Hello, nice to meet how you, you doing? Thanks, Carol. Yeah, thanks for having us at Good. Mustard. It's great to, great to see you guys. So, tell us a little bit about Purple Jimmy. Well, uh, we I've been playing in a band, uh, we were called Mr Pink, and we played for many, many years all around the UK. Uh, I did a few albums, went on television a few times, and had a great deal of success. Um, and we used to do a few covers in there as well, and those covers... I was going to say, were they a tribute? They were, so you, you wrote you, your own songs? Yeah, we were original. We had four original albums out. I had quite a bit of success with it. Uh, played with some very famous people, and uh, we, we, we did awfully well out of it. But I sort of knocked on the head a couple of years ago. I had some family commitments. And we were doing lots of Jimi Hendrix sort of numbers anyway, which really sort of suited my vocal style and guitar style. And we were a three-piece, which means that I was playing guitar and the vocals. We had a drummer who's Richard, uh, and we had Jason on the bass guitar. And we thought, well, why don't we try doing a, a tribute act instead? It's something slightly different what we've done before. Um, now, you probably guess that I'm not the right colour for Jimi Hendrix for a start. He's slightly darker. <laughs> no difference he's slightly, slightly yeah, darker than differences. Them. But we do, you know, we have the wigs and we dress up a bit like out. them. Oh, absolutely, got to. You know, same type of guitar, same type of amplifiers, the Marshall amplifiers. Doesn't he play it like behind his head and with his mouth? And I do that as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah I nearly oh, take my Simon. teeth out, Dan. It's, it's a nightmare, man. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, yeah, so my dental repair bill is uh, a nightmare. <laughs> but we do that. And we used to set fire to the guitars as well. We don't do it so much Setting now. Fires. Oh, mm. I love it. Well, it's health and safety gone mad, but do not try that at home. No. <laughs> No, so, you know, it, it really, we sort of got into it from there on. We've only just really started, to be honest with you. You know, we've done uh, three, four gigs, did a festival this week. Uh, and um, so we're really out there at the moment going, oh, hi, guys, you know, we want some more gigs anywhere sort of uh, East Anglia-wise, whether it's Norwich or further afield. And we're Fire's looking... optional. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> no, it's unoptional. You've got to have it. It's mandatory. <laughs> yeah. No, it's obviously not. But we're sort of uh, looking to push into the sort of festival realm as well. So that's where we're going but with that. Interestingly, you were telling me you weren't always into Jimi Hendrix. No, I think as a kid, I first started playing guitar when I was 11, 12, so I've been playing it quite a number of years now. Uh, and I was more into sort of um, the, the, the rockier and things like ACDC and things like that when I first started up. Uh, Jimmy sort of came on the scene and I was aware of him probably when I was uh, mid-teens. Um, and it wasn't until I analysed his style of playing and what he was doing that I suddenly bowled me over and thought, wow, this guy is very, very special, very unique and very talented. Uh, so it's been a number of years sort of trying to emulate what he does and I'm not going to sit here and say I'm a patch on Jimi Hendrix. Say, I'm all right. You've got to be quite confident though to do it because if yeah. you know big Hendrix fans are going right let's go and see this tribute yeah. act and they turn up and if you, you know if you weren't that good, you'd have bottles thrown at you, wouldn't you? Yeah, well, I, you know, the bruises aren't showing at the moment. But, <laughs> yeah. but we're all right. You know, uh, yeah. like I say, it's early days for us at the moment. You know, we're still sort of, uh, we're still learning a lot of the numbers, the more sort of uh, B-side type numbers. Um, but, you know, what we've got at the moment sounds pretty slick. Uh, we were very lucky that the sound engineer at the festival, Mirfest, that we did on Monday, um, uh, he actually taped it for us. And it sounded awesome. Um, I'm, yeah. Okay, I'm going to say that because I was playing yeah. at the time. But it sounded no, I've heard great. It. Yeah. Did you hear it? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I, I was knocked out. And uh, so, you know, we, we know we're onto something. We look like the part, you know, and we've got the musicians. So Speaking of knockout, sorry, I've yeah, got no to get involved with this now. Yeah. What is your Hendrix fact? Okay, do you want to hear my Hendrix I'd story? I'd love to, yes. Okay, so my mum's cousin, Dave Lutton, was the second drummer of T-Rex, and he lived with Jimmy in London in the 70s. No way. Old America. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Wow. It's a good wow. fact, though, isn't it? It's a it? small world, isn't it? Do you like that fact? I, that's an awesome fact. Yeah. I can't say I was even around when Hendrix was around, so I can't sort of claim to have lived with him or anything like no. that. Just do it anyway. Yeah, so yeah just do it Clarice anyway. That's what has done. He <laughs> <laughs> no. was my best mate. Yeah, yeah. 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 now, obviously, I, I have a clear link to Jimi Hendrix. Well, so if you need any styling tips... <laughs> yes. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I could do. No. So I probably you, need lots, actually, Dad. Oh, when no, you go sure. out and do the festivals and do the gigs, do you go back to a sort of rock and roll lifestyle? Do you and the lads, you know, drink after the shows? <laughs> or are you back home with your slippers on? As they say, what goes on tour stays on oh, tour. So we can't rules are rules. No, no. Okay. It, it's just, I mean, I'm in my mid-40s now. I've got a couple of kids. In fact, they're both teenagers. Uh, and I think, you know, rather than uh, downing a pint of whiskey at the end of the show, it's more like a coffee. <laughs> and then yeah. want to go to bed, to be honest with you. You know, we're all happy and relaxed. 
relationships and so on. So, you know, there's none of that sort of thing. So, no, it's not really, you know, we're not, not sort of the big uh, sex and drugs and rock and roll style at all. It's very laid back. You know, we've got wonderful wives and girlfriends and so on, lovely kids. So, yeah. uh, but we just enjoy the music and they come along with us anyway. So no TVs there. out of hotel windows then? Not anymore. Too not expensive anymore. for stuff. No, no, absolutely. Very briefly, uh, have you got any gigs coming up? Uh, locally wise, yes. We've got a couple of local pubs. We have the Windmill, that's up uh, Plumstead, uh, Plumstead Road. Um, and there's also the Hartsey pub as well, yeah. and the Hartsey Roundabout. On the Roundabout, so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and there's a few other ones that, if you check our website out, it's uh, purplejimmy.com. Uh, in fact, it takes you straight through to our Facebook group, but you'll see all of the gigs on there, so check purplejimmy.com. Jimmy is spelt like this name, J-I-M-I. I love Brilliant. it. Brilliant. Thank it's you so much for coming in. It's been lovely meeting you. Thanks Good ever so much for coming in. Good Thanks luck. <laughs> well, it's time for another break now, but we'll be back in part three with more music to kick your weekend off in the best, best possible way. That's what she meant. <laughs> See you in a minute. <laughs> Richardson's Boating Holidays, sponsors of the Mustard Show. From fixtures and previews, predictions and match reports, make the Norwich Evening News your first stop each day for the latest news from Norwich City. Also featuring coverage of your local football leagues, rugby, hockey, cricket and much more. Every day in the Norwich Evening News. Your city, your paper. The Big BT Summer Sale is now on. Get our lowest ever price on BT Infinity Fibre Optic Broadband plus unlimited UK weekend calls. It's £5 a month for the first six months and £15 a month after that. And you'll get free BT Sport which you can watch online or on the Sky Digital satellite platform. It's so good, 9 out of 10 BT Infinity customers would recommend it to friends and family. And it's a sizzling £5 a month for the first six months.